leaky faucet. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. And it looks really yellow. And although I did want to go um, totally 100% cruelty free on this, I think I'm gonna have to use toner. I have um, like a whole bottle I didn't use of T18 Wella toner. And I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Uh, I don't have anything else, so I, I guess I'm just gonna have to tone it. But not yet. I'm gonna wash it with some wash this out with some purple shampoo and see what the result is once it dries but up until now it doesn't look good hair is super brassy look at that it looks horrible so I'm gonna tone it right now I have bleach in the spots where it didn't cover it's still wet by the way so maybe it just looks darker because of that but either way I'm gonna have to bleach it because just look at that I cannot deal with that to tone it I'm sorry I'm gonna have to tone it um I missed a few spots um I don't know they really didn't um they didn't take the bleach very well and I guess that's just a risk you run when you do it yourself Leaky faucet. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. So anyways, uh, I'll be back when I tone my hair. And I am mixing my toner. I am not even gonna lie. This does not look ooh, strong. This does not look like I remember it. It looks brown for some reason. I remember it being kind of white and turning and slowly turning purple. I don't know. I'm kind of scared to fuck my hair up by now, but it's too late for that.
really pleased with the last bleaching I had. I know it looks really yellow now, but that's because I just put olive oil in my hair because I'm going to bleach it again um, just to get rid of those yellow spots. They're really, really tiny. I mean, it's not even yellow. It's just not the blonde I want, I want for this hair color. So not much what I'm gonna do here, but just the last bleaching amen. I never thought this would be so hard. And well, stick with me. this part of my hair because it's stretchy and if I pull it will break either ways I'm gonna go cut my hair a bit just a little trim to get rid of any parts that might be like these because I know this isn't like that because um I didn't put bleach on it and if it had it really didn't have, have it for much time but as you can see that is very damaged we need to get rid of all that so I'll be back once my hair is dry and I have cut my hair and this is the finished result yes I am very proud that I did finally made it to this color so I can go ahead and change it again so I take I took a bit off it's a bit crispy right now but nothing we can't fix with a little bit of maintenance love and care so thank you for watching it has been a journey and there's still more to come so thank you for watching take care and bye bye